Today I'm going to show you how to repair the hard drive inside a Macintosh PowerBook 100. This is a very common fault. Uh, it's the same as the 3.5 inch SCSI drives where the uh, disc head sticks to rubber bumpers. So when you turn on the machine, the drive keeps sticking but it cannot unlock the head so it will uh, then shut off automatically. So what we want to do is we want to open the drive up and uh, re and fix this uh, this problem. Yeah, you hear that? This is the ticking I was talking about. So we're gonna shut up the shut down the machine and remove power. So we're going to disconnect the hard drive data cable. We can move that away. Now you need a T8 Torx driver and we can remove the cover of the R drive. I guess we'll resume once I removed all the screws. All right, once you remove all the screws, you can now use a flat blade screwdriver to start prying up the top case. And uh, I have to be very gentle because sometimes the gasket sticks to the wrong part of the disc. Like in this case, for example. The gasket should stick to the top cover, but as you can see, it stays on the, on the bottom. So we, need, uh, we might need to fix that later on. So let me just remove the gasket. Very gentle, I don't want to break it. It's very hard to do it one hand, one-handed. Oops, I lost it screw so here's the gasket removed and then we're going to remove the top magnet so we can see the uh, the bumpers okay so I removed the magnet which is this little piece here now I'm going to rotate the drive carefully and I'm going to move the head away like this all right so now I can lift up the little stop end and I'm going to cover up this little hole here where all the sticky stuff is. Ooh, there we go. In the meantime, I can uh, cover up the hard drive to make sure that dust doesn't fall in. I applied some tape on the on this end, and I also reinstalled the gasket making sure that all the holes aligned with the various screw holes. I can now reinstall the little stop end and reinstall the magnet. Preferably the correct way in, since I always seem to get this wrong. There we go. And now I can screw the entire drive back together and hopefully it will start working again. All right, so I got the drive all back together. I connected it to the power book, and now let's see if it works. And there we go, no more ticking. And look at that. He is now booting. Granted, this is not uh, a repair that will last forever. This drive will probably break again. But uh, for with just a little, a little piece of tape and 10 minutes, you can definitely bring one of those drives together and at least recover the data. Thanks for watching.